That is Animal here on my platform, that track there, by Mr. Showbiz. He is my guest for the day. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> so let's jazz it up. All right. Thank you all for tuning in. Just to let you know, phone lines are open as of right now. You can call in and give Mr. Showbiz a shout out. Mr. Showbiz, are you with me? Yes, I am. How you doing? All right. Where are you calling from? Well, I'm calling from uh, Canton, Ohio right now, but I'm from Chicago. All right. All right. All right, friends out there listening in. You know what to do. 
All right, Mr. Showbiz. Now, you were on my platform with Ray Cartagino, your partner. Yeah, partner of entertainment. <laughs> yeah, so now it's your turn to tell your side of the story on your new single that's coming up, but we'll get back to that. Tell uh, the fans and listeners, curious listeners out there about yourself. Uh, you're multi-talented. What other talents you have besides rap uh-huh. and pop? Yeah, I started, well, you know what, before I started doing anything as far as music, I started off uh, as a dancer. I was a dancer at first. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was straight out of Chicago. Yep, I, okay. started, I started dancing a long time ago. It was like, uh, well, I was dancing since I can start walking. <laughs> okay. So was it I got really- dancing or, or what type of dancing? It was it was basically anything, you know, we, from the Michael Jacksons, the new editions, MC Hammers, to the break dancing, and uh, and, and you know, uh, they got a style out there in Chicago, uh, footworking. I don't know if uh, anybody else know about it other than uh, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, okay. It's, it's, go ahead. Okay, so. Um, Tell us how your hip hop uh, uh, music and songwriting. Uh, what and whom was your inspiration? What triggered it? What sparked you off in doing hip hop? Well, uh, I was, you know, like I say, I started off dancing, but I, I was always opening up for different artists. And uh, normally, normally when you dance, when you a dancer, you don't dance until showtime. Other than that, when you're getting everything together and getting the shows together, you you are in the studio most of the time. So yeah. uh, that's what made me get started. I was uh, I was I was with a lot of different artists that wasn't doing nothing but music. You see, I'm so uh, I asked them, let me let me get a beat, let me just see what I can do to it, because I was around it all the time. So I wanted to yeah. see how how would I do in that area. Okay, all right then. So. You started off. So, how long you been in the uh, hip hop music industry? How many years is that? Going on um, about five to seven years now. Five to seven years. Great, great. Yeah. Now, um, the single that I'll be spinning, uh, which is called "Treat Me Right," is this your first single, or how many how many albums you already had made? That's the uh, that's the first that's the first single uh, that and animal. See, I've been on a lot of other people's music uh, doing hooks on on different songs mm-hmm. with different uh, art. Okay. So, yeah, those are my those are my only two. And no, I have I have three. I have three. I haven't sent them in, but I have three. Uh, those are the only ones that I have by myself. Okay. So animal, what is that track there about? Uh, we always hearing about and chilling and shoot. See, I grew up listening to New Edition and Teddy Pendergrass and the, the R. Kelly's and uh, Aaron Hall. So I, 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 I wanted to go back to that. Okay. Okay. All right. Back All right. To that type of music. So how did you? How did that name, Mister Showbiz? How did? How did that name? get created and how did it attach to you <laughs> right once i once i found out that i could do anything that i could put my mind to okay. when i uh, when i yeah mr showbiz meaning you can do you can do anything it don't it don't yeah. matter what platform you on you can do anything i try uh-huh. to be versatile so that's where that's where mr showbiz come from okay then well you thank you probably- for telling us Thank you for telling us right, that. Right, you one while, and you probably hit me with a reggae flow the next minute yeah. with a shot flow. So that's that's what Mr. Shobi is coming in. Okay, at. all right, got it. So um, let's talk about the new single now. Treat me right. That does sound uh-huh. right. That does sound reggae. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that well, does. But you know, right. well. What's going on I had, I had, I had, to create this track, Treat Me Right? 
Who's not treating Mr. Showbiz right? That's what I want to know. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not that. It's just. It's just when you think in general about. Uh, it can be. It, it, it can hit from any uh, aspect. Uh, relationships. Right. Uh, yeah. Business partners. Anything. Yeah. You right. treat people like you want to be. You give me the same energy that I'm giving you. Right. And when it comes to relationships. They talk about all the shopping sprees and all of it. We, I'm basically telling the person, if you treat me right, you can get all of these things. You right. can't treat me messed up and then you expecting, I mean, you got your hand pulled, I mean, held out, and you're not treating me right. Right. Well, how about I spin this track and we'll get back into some more chat. Here is Treat Me Right by Mr. Showbiz. Stay tuned, everyone. Yes, All right, 